Monday, December 5th, 2022, GLE 63, turbo back in place, the guys that finished it on Friday, Saturday we was not working, time to start it, put it out, leave it to warm up, to see how it looks like, right, where are their boxes to put it back in place, I don't want to keep running like this outside. Or I'm gonna put it, I'm not gonna take it out completely. I'm gonna keep it half inside the garage, half out. It'll gonna be fine. Yeah. Okay, front of the gate, leaving it here to warm up. Don't pay attention how it's idling when it's cold. It has a gapped spark plugs. That's why, and it's not been tuned. All right, leaving it there. Obviously, it's not smoking. It's cold. We're gonna see that later. We might put again on a dyno to make some small pulls to see what's going on. If it changed something. Uh, one thing that I don't mention, I was considering, see, I was acting like the has independent susp uh, suspension, uh -huh. like independent exhaust. But in true, the muffler has connection between one bank and the other and has also two H pipes down. That's why you might see but under full load, under load, you see that smoking only bank one. Let's see now if it changes something with this turbocharger. I hope to be healthy this one because this is a used one. Once again, this is a test. All right. Let's see where are we now. Let's see what's going on. It's standing here for I don't know for how long. 93 oil, 93 coolant, 53 transmission oil. Good sign, we might put again on the dyno. Now, if I play two, three times, 3,000, 3,500 RPMs, it should start smoking badly. I hate when I have to play with the throttle. I mean, it's okay if the owner do that, but not me. I hate when I'm doing that. And guess what? It's not smoking. It was a stupid turbo. It was the stupid turbo. How the fuck it gave up the turbo at 60,000 kilometers? Is it, these are the true kilometers there? I don't know. Like I said, I don't have a history of this car. I'm happy that I put the used turbo and it's not smoking. At least I didn't do all this job for nothing, right? Something's that. We're gonna put the colder intake back again in place. Where is the turbo? Where did, where did they put it? Just a second to find the old turbo. Just a second. We are looking good. Very promising. I was not expecting to be from the cylinders, from the pistons. That's the that's the reason why, let me say this. You see also on the other cars, I'm taking compression, I'm taking with the camera inside of the cylinders. Why? Because if there is any problem with the engine, to don't spend money, the owner, let us say, because he might decide that, you know what, okay, there is a problem, let us say, for example, with the engine, I'm gonna sell it with a problem. I'm gonna explain to the new owner, to a new customer, to potential customer, let us say that, there is a problem with the engine, and that's why I'm selling so cheap, and I want to get rid of the car. Fine, it's it's okay, it's not a problem. That's why compression test, checking with the camera, sometimes leak test, make some tests, see the timing chain that's not been stretched, and then you proceed and you're doing whatever you're doing. Now, like I said, it's a right-hand drive, there is no number plate, I didn't have the chance to drive the car, I don't know the history of the car, <clears throat> But fortunately, we get away with one turbocharger, bank one. Used one, yes, it's working, yep, fine. Don't ask me how long it's gonna last, it's a used turbo, all right? It's not a new turbocharger. Original stock, but it is what it is. Let me find the old turbo, I don't know where they put the guys. I put in a plastic cup, let's find out. I'm gonna make another video later on on the dyno 
to push it again to see if it's smoking. It will gonna smoke a little bit when it's gonna warm up the exhaust because it still has some oil inside, but it's not continuously smoking like like it was before. Before when the when the temperatures that was reaching anything more than 85 degrees and you play a little bit with the accelerator pedal, you see that it starts smoking continuously from both sides or from one side, yeah. Just a second to find the turbo. I was looking for the job card for this one, I did found it. I, I, now, go figure out. Everybody are coming at 12 o'clock. I mean, I'm the only idiot that's coming early. Yay! I found the turbocharger. Like I said, it doesn't have extra clearance. It does have. It's a little bit tight, I will say. Alright? It's okay. It looks okay. The only thing what you can see, the difference between the one that I installed and this one is that under of this shield, this metallic plate, has so much carbon that it's stuck. It's raising it up and it stuck the turbo. I know now it's touching on the plastic down. The other one that it's, it was used, it, it was not biting the washer, this sealed, like this one. If I remove it, let us say it's going to be full of uh, burnt oil under of this. The other one was much better. And that's why I use it actually. That's it, over and out. Later on, I'm going to upload now this video, because these are good news, one indication that it's fine, it's not smoking, beautiful. I don't want to continue playing with accelerator pedal, to be honest. Screw it, we're gonna put the dyno, we're gonna put the fourth gear, put the fan front to blowing some fresh air. And, ah, hi kitty. And uh, we're gonna make one pull to see if we're gonna continue smoking. Like before. I think that I have it on video and I show you before how it was, looks like. Good news, at least. Thank you, over and out. Have a good day.